I'm saying again, you got to get in worship and stay in worship. But the only way you're going to do that, you got to understand what worship is. Because when we mention worship, you know, when we think about, we think about hands lifted up and we think about somebody that's going all in the days and you can't do, that's what we think about worship. Uh -huh. And you think you can only do it in church. Uh -huh. But worship is more than that. You know what worship really is? Giving God his due. Yeah. It's just giving God his due. Worship says, God, you are awesome, God, you're tremendous. Worship doesn't say what you've done for me. Worship just gives God his props uh -huh. because he is God. Amen. There's some people, there's some athletes you may not like, but you just give them their props because they're that talented. You may not like their team, you may not like their play, but you give them their props because they have the ability to play the game. And in this, when it comes to worship, you're not, it's not determined about what God has done for you. You're giving him his props because of who he is. Yeah. 
can't go nowhere in school when I have a permission slip and they go, God ain't gonna touch your problem until you sign out the permission slip and say, Lord, you can deal with my issues. But if you don't sign the permission slip, he ain't gonna deal with your issues. And one of the ways you one of the ways you sign the permission slip is you go into a worship and be honest with God and confess to God, I got this hang up, Lord, and I can't do it without you, and I'll give you permission to work on me right now. Yeah, yeah. He won't come nowhere until you sign the permission slip. But once you sign it, watch out. Once you sign it, because he got a free clause. And it's not in the little print. He lets you know, when I come in, you got to give me all free reign. So when you sign it, he lets you know, I ain't coming in half stepping. I'm coming in full. You don't want me to come in that way, don't sign it. But what I learned about worship, it helps me to say yes to God. It helps me to confess to God. It helps me to get to the point where I'm letting God come in and deal with the things he needs to deal with in my life. That's what worship does. So I go to God and I give him his props and then I be honest and confess before him in worship and then he begins to deal with me so I can say yes to his will, yes to his way, and yes, Lord, come in and straighten out everything that's messed up in my life. So I got to I gotta get in worship and I got to stay in worship. Got to give God his due. Got to be honest and confess. And I got to realize worship is the gem for my spirit. Worship is the gem for my spirit. You go to the gym to get in shape, to lose some weight, to tuck this, to do that, to build things up. Well, your spirit needs to be worked on. And when you go into worship, you are building your spirit man. And when you build your spirit man and then renew your mind in the word of God, you got two awesome companions that are tied together that will bring your flesh under So worship is the gem that builds my spirit, man. That allows me to be able to be strong when I'm supposed to be weak. That allows me to be able to go through when I'm supposed to go down. That allows me to keep on making it. Because when it really comes to making it, it's not your flesh that's telling you to keep on going. Uh-huh. And if it gets too bad, your mind says you just need to give up. But your spirit man cries out from the inside and says, you can make it. Because I done heard God talking to me and he told me I'm on your side. You got to build your spirit man in worship. And so we just can't get in worship just one time and expect to stay fully committed. You got to stay in worship. Yeah. In the morning when you wake up, you got to go to worship. In the middle of the day when you got to break you got to go to worship. At night before you go to sleep, you got to go and worship. In the middle of the night, if you wake you up and you can't go back to sleep, you got to go and worship. Because he's trying to do something on the inside of you that can't nothing else do for you. Good books can't do it for you. Rehab can't do it for you. Divorce can't do it for you. Marriage counseling can't do it for you. The only thing they can do it for you is worship. Worship will take you to the place and get you out of things that nothing else can do. Because see, when you enter into worship, God's dealing with you about you. And he ain't pulling no punches. And when you get up there and say, Lord, I ain't like that, he said, ain't no problem, let me show you. you. And he'll bring back to your mind the co-worker you cussed out. He'll bring back to your mind the ill feelings you had against this one. The, the day you did here, the day, he'll let you see it in your mind. Remember this? Remember that? Remember this? So he'll bring it to you so you can't deny you messed up because all he wants you to do is confess that you messed up so he 